The self-made billionaire who owned Harrods department store, Mohammed Al-Fayed, has died at the age of 94. A funeral has been held in London Central Park Mosque in Regent's Park. He was also the owner of Fulham Football Club for 16 years. It's issued a statement on behalf of the family saying, Mrs Mohammed Al-Fayed, her children and grandchildren wish to confirm that her beloved husband, their father and grandfather Mohammed, has passed away peacefully of old age on Wednesday, August 30, 2023. He enjoyed a long and fulfilled retirement surrounded by his loved ones. The family have asked for their privacy to be respected at this time. Laura Bundock looks back at his life. Flamboyantly charismatic and famously controversial, he was the billionaire businessman from Egypt with a ruthless reputation and an obsession with British royalty. But the connections Mohammed Al Fayed craved ended in tragedy. From a humble start, he built businesses and a name for himself, adding the Al to Fayed to sound aristocratic. Moving to London, he sought high society and aspirational assets, buying the Ritz in Paris and his crown jewel, Harrods, a British institution. It was a deal so disputed, the government investigated and found he'd lied about his wealth. I own the shop and no one ever will be able to take away from me. Only God, you see? He was twice refused British citizenship. In 1997, the year he bought Fulham Football Club, everything changed. His son Dodi was in a relationship with Princess Diana when they died in the Paris car crash, being driven at speed and guarded by Mr Al Fayed's team. He long argued their deaths were murder, a plot between Prince Philip and MI6. All my fears, all what I've been trying to fight in the last six years to get the truth with all the unanswered questions, you think is this a right for me as a father who lost a child? You are for MI6, you idiot. But his conspiracies were dismissed during the inquiry and inquests. Mohammed Al Fayed believed he was racially vilified by the establishment he'd so revered. Oh, look, a gift bag. Special gifts for the boss lady. Ah, uh, that it gets me anyway. Boss lady seems allergic to me. His stories now retold fictionally to new audiences in The Crown. He'd sold Harrods and Fulham, but significantly kept the Ritz, the place his son and Diana spent their final evening.